Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range now. Today we're looking at the kel P17. They released this within the last year. They announced it a couple years ago. It's a 22 long rifle, 16 round mags, and a 3.8 inch barrel. Let's go ahead and take a few shots and we'll talk more about the P17. And there it is, ran through all of them. Some of the feedback that I got was that this little $199 MSRP pistol is very reliable. And we're gonna check that out today because I have three different types of 22 long rifle, but here it is. It does have some neat features on it. One that is not a feature is check out all those bolts. They are all over the place this thing is bolted together primarily primarily a polymer pistol it does have a fiber optic front sight a rail a single action hammer fired trigger that breaks right at three and a quarter pounds the website says three pounds i'm seeing three and a quarter and it's a, it has a, a nice feel to it. Now, it does have a, let me drop the mag, a, a hammer fired, for a hammer fired gun, it does have an indicator right there. It's a pre-cocked hammer. Every time you charge a pistol, it pre-cocks and it's, it's red right there. Upon shooting, it will go away. Here is the reset right there. Adjustable rear sights. A very lightweight pistol under 15 ounces loaded with a full mag of 16. Simple disassemble, gonna show that in a bit. Not the prettiest gun with all those bolts in there and everything. It's not it's not what you would call a real handsome gun, but it, it tends to work at least so far pretty well. Now this is Federal Auto Match. What I was just shooting is Remington Golden Bullet 22. This is Federal Auto Match. I will mention ambidextrous thumb safety, ambidextrous trigger guard, magazine release. Let me go ahead and take a few shots here. We'll start with the plate to the left there. Six inch. And so far, so good. I didn't know what to expect. You know, a lot of people said, you know, for a, a cheap little gun like that, it may be ammo finicky, but so far it hasn't been. And that's only been two mags. One of the things that makes it a bit unique is that when you lock the slide back, it disassembles using these levers right here. You just push them down and off comes the slide. That's the slide right there. Everything else is polymer. 3.8 inch threaded barrel. It does have a thread protector on there. And it also includes a wrench and a thread adapter to run a can. And there is the hammer with the, the paint on the back. I'm not sure if the camera will pick that up. But a standard kel grip, uh, easy disassemble. And then you just put it back on in this position. Drop that, I don't know if I can get that in there. Uh, I did not do it, let me try that again. Get it in that position, drop, and let me see here. It's so easy off camera. One more try. It has to be lined up pretty well. All right, so I figured out what I did wrong. That back rail right there, I wasn't pulling the slide all the way past that to slip it on. So we're gonna try that again. I'm going to put it in this position, take that, pull it down, and there it is. Now I have to say, so far the Remington Golden Bullet and the Federal Auto Match worked fine. Here we have CCI Mini Mags, 22. Now the full mag, you have to push that in. It doesn't, well that time, <laughs> it seems like the more I own this gun and the more that I release the magazine, 
a full mag is more likely to drop freely. But it seems like the more I do that, the more freely the magazine drops. Let's check out the CCI mini mag and we'll see. And yep, it ran through. So everybody that told me that this gun runs through all types of ammo, you are correct. And everybody that told me that it's an ugly gun, you also are correct because this thing is not the, the cutest little peach in the collection. Loaded down with bolts makes it really an interesting looking gun. It also has a few bolts up top, or two of them right there. Gives the impression that this is optic ready. It's actually not. That just holds everything internally in. It's a polymer plate. This up here is polymer. It is a very lightweight gun. As I mentioned, 15 ounces, under 15 ounces loaded with 16 rounds, right around 12 ounces loaded or unloaded with just the pistol and the mag. I paid 250 for this with two mags. It typically comes with three mags. I paid 250 for it and I'm pretty happy with it so far. Of course, I needed to get it to the range and I showed you how well it, it fires. You know, fixed barrel, fixed recoil spring, ambidextrous, thumb safety, so far not bad. But what I'm missing is a limperous test to see how well this performs with a limpy wrist. So let's load it up and we'll check that out. So far the reliability has been spot on, very happy with it. I'm back with Remington Golden Bullet. We're going to check out a limperous test. One thing I did not do was charge the slide with the slide stop. And that doesn't want to work. So for some reason that didn't work. But let's go ahead and do a limperous test and see if this thing passes. And if it does I'll be impressed. Wow, the P-17 getting it done at the range. And it even passed the limperous test. So I ran 22 golden bullets that are made by Remington. I ran CCI mini mags and Federal Auto Match. And the P-17 fed, fired, and ejected all of them just fine. And a pretty accurate gun too. I didn't play with the sights too much after I initially did prior to my table review. But for 3.8 inch barrel MSRP 199, it's currently selling at the time of this recording over $300. I think I mentioned I picked it up used for $250. And it's not pretty, but it's got a nice trigger and it fires accurately and it fires reliable, reliable at least so far. So I have to say, I, I think I like it. I wasn't expecting to like it as much as I do, but I like this pistol so far. We'll see. I will report if I have any future issues. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.